I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Not keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are looking to buy the cheapest and most reliable Madden coins on the market, head over to buymaddencoins.com. They guarantee a five minute delivery on all purchases and offer 24 7 customer support. Use code MAZE at checkout for 10% off. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you guys had a great holiday season. But now it is back to ye old grind as we finish out 2019 strong, heading into 2020. Today on the channel, we got another weekend league recap. This one is going over the weekend league that was double rewards. So at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys top 100 double rewards for this weekend. Before we get into the content, as always, the best and worst comments of the day. The best comment of the day goes to the Arab who said, honest to God, these YouTubers don't get enough credit, especially YouTubes like Maze. Do y'all know the stress it puts on you constantly trying to juggle your personal life with your YouTube channel? Man, huge props to you and everyone else that does this type of work. Much appreciated. Maze, you still a bitch who sometimes weirdly looks like a poor man's Gordon Hayward for some reason. Thank you for the kind words, Arab. And the Gordon Hayward thing, you know, I don't really think is an insult. If you guys don't know who Gordon Hayward is, he's a basketball player who, in my opinion, is dashingly handsome. I'm not biased at all. So, again, thank you for the kind words, Arab. And the worst comment of the day goes to Britton Marco, who said, This play is actual ass. I've been sitting here doing it for the past hour, re-watching the video, and nothing is working. Now, I really hate to be the downer here, but if you've been sitting, trying to get a one-play touchdown work for hours, and nothing is working, then the play is not ass, Britton. You are ass. Now, unfortunately, I did not get a recording of my team before we get into the games, but the team has not changed at all since the last videos. We still got the big dick. We still got Andrew Luck. We still got Lawrence Taylor. All the same goons on the squad going to be making plays for us. So if you guys have been watching my videos, it's the same team. Starting off against Mr. Malicious. Dropped interception right there. I don't know why he swatted it. I hate that animation. If you can swat it that casually, you can definitely intercept the ball. But it does not matter because we come right back with user lurk. Pat Tillman getting a nice interception. Going to give us our first try with the ball. Now, this opponent, Mr. Malicious. This was a fun game because he was talking shit without actually talking shit. He didn't have a mic. He didn't message me. But you see, he hit me in the backfield. I lost my X Factor. He paused the game. Okay, maybe he had to go to the bathroom or something. I don't know. He paused the game. Whatever. Third and 12. I'm going to have to pass the ball here. And I threw. I had a crossing route. Randy Moss. I threw it way too late. Tried to low ball. And he gets user lurk with Ed Reed. And he's going to run. Almost going to get a uh, touchdown. But Andrew Luck is there to make the play. And you're going to see something, guys. He pauses the game again. Okay, you know what? Two strikes. Whatever. First time, maybe you had to go to the bathroom. This time, maybe you're, you're eating some food. I don't know. You pause the game again. Then he's going to run a jet sweep with Tyreek Hill, get to the outside, and get the first points of the day. And guess what, guys? You're not going to believe this. He pauses the game again. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Fool me three times. Fuck you. It's game on, baby. So rolling out with Andrew Luck, we get... Zach Ertz, slow ass Zach Ertz on a little playmaker, and he's gonna run all the way. And look who's holding that block downfield. Is that Michael Irvin? I think Michael Irvin was holding a block downfield. That is some devastating downfield blocking. And guess what, Mr. Malicious? Hold this pause, bitch. Then I pause the game. And uh, you know, now after this, it's gonna be this is what I'm talking about when we say we were we were talking shit without actually talking shit. Boom! Deion Sanders, 99 man coverage. I don't know if he actually has 99 man coverage, but an amazing play right there. Hey, Mr. Malicious, hold this pause again, bitch. Now it's my ball. Now it's time to make something happen. I drop back, looking to pass. Try to throw a corner route, and guess who's there? Certain is there to make an interception, and I already know it's coming. I'm going to get a pause. Yep. I, I earned that one. But like I was saying, this was a really fun game because even though I was like low key pissed off, I was fucking into it because this was fun. You know, people were talking shit. And I should have got an interception right there. Pat Tillman did not animate, but he ended up punting me the ball after that. So it's still a 7 7 ball game, fourth and two. I'm going back to a pass. On fourth down, I throw a little hitch route. I thought it was there. I thought he should have caught that, but we did not convert. And of course, Mr. Militia is going to pause the game again. I think I'm going to start cutting out the pauses here pretty soon. Pretty soon, But you can assume after basically every big play, there was a pause from either my end or his end. And like I said, it was kind of fun. We ended up getting a tackle on the three-yard line, but it is first and goal. going to be tough to make a stop. He threw a little fade route. I had a flat from Pat Tillman underneath. I felt like it should have stopped it. Uh, but anyways, it's 7-14 now towards the end of the first half. Third and 19. This dude runs a stock cover two, and I bomb him deep with Michael Irvin with my one play touchdown against cover two was not expecting that to work because on a third and 19 you'd think this dude since he's such a genius and loves to pause the game will put a deep blue in the middle but he did not and then he actually had a one play touchdown of his own on my cover three but he did not throw it but he's rolling around there with kyler murray all for that just to throw an interception on third down denzel ward with a huge pick towards the end of the first half however i could not make anything happen uh with that 20 seconds left and we go into halftime i'm starting off the second half with the ball though Rolling out with Andrew Luck again. Little delay fade from Shannon Sharp. He's going to catch it and get another big gain. I don't know what it is with my tight ends lately, but on those delay fades in the late routes, honestly, tight ends, even though they're slow as hell, 
They get some big gains and make some plays, baby, and I love to see it. Second and 12, throwing up the sideline, a little Torrey Holt action on the sideline, going to catch it and get to the 10-yard line. Now we're in striking distance with a tie game. If I can score a touchdown here, it's going to be big. We get to the outside, a little stop and go. Eric Dickerson, the big dick, getting in for the go-ahead touchdown. Hold that pause, bitch. 21-14, up by 7 now. Second and 2, his ball. McCaffrey jukes the hell out of my user. No stick squad stand up. And hopefully we can get Night Train Lane to run him down, which we do inside the 10-yard line, though. So first and goal from the 9. I'm up 7. He needs a touchdown to tie the game here. He gets a little angle route to McCaffrey, who, boom, fumbles on the, on the goal line. However, he recovers the fumble. Now it's second and goal at the 1. QB sneak, no good. Third and goal, going to run it. McCaffrey, or that is Henry, no good. It is fourth and goal at the 2-yard line. He runs a little weird play right here. And watch this. This is absolute bullshit. Throw high pass. Lot hit stick. And what? How the hell is that a touchdown, bro? How the hell is that a touchdown? Look at this replay. I hit stick him before he even gets down. Hit him in the air. He drops it. And then he gets the uh, the touchdown. I don't know what was going on there. On fourth and goal to tie the game. That was pretty frustrating. Anyway, second and nine. I thought I had inside leverage there with Michael Irvin. I did not, however. And he gets the interception. So with 349 left in the third quarter, it's his ball. We get a huge sack right there from Lawrence Taylor. Going to make it a fourth and 18. This guy decides to go for it. We get block sheds again. And the heavy pressure makes Kyler Murray throw it into left field for no good. Turnover on downs. Now it is first and goal at the 12. And we get a nice little run. The big dick going to give us another go-ahead touchdown. We're up by seven now. He throws a screen pass to McCaffrey, who somehow just squeezes his way out of there for another big gain, juking and jiving all the way down to the 39-yard line. He is in striking distance now with two minutes left to go in the game. A little, watch this. Oh, no stick squad. Stand up, baby. McLaurin, Terry McLaurin, the rookie, going to make us look like an idiot and get the tie game third and 12. Looking for somebody to get open. Everyone is absolutely boxed. I take a sack. I'm going to have to punt it there. I'm not going to give him any free points. So I punted all the way to him with a, with a tie game now. 130 left in the game. It's his ball. We get a huge sack right there. Kyler Murray, you are not fast enough, you little midget. And now it is a third and 23. I'm playing coverage here. He is rolling out. Nothing there. Kyler Murray sit down once again. And he's going to have to punt us the ball. So now 44 seconds left in the game. It's our ball tie game. And Eric the Big Dick once again proving how integral he is to our offense. Going to get another huge gain. And I just had to swerve around and let him know this game is over. And one for good measure. Just hold this pause, bitch. For the last time. Your time is up, Mr. Malicious. Because then with three seconds left in the game, we kicked the go-ahead field goal. And just squib kicked it after that. And that was the game. GG's to Mr. Malicious. Even though I was pissed off during the game, that was actually a very fun game. So GG's to him. No hard feelings. Getting into the next game again. Against Rainmaker, there's his top three. Uh, this was another really good game. He's got his activated D-line chems going, and he gets a big sack starting off with Lawrence Taylor, so I had to punt him the ball. So my first drive was a failure. However, Ronnie Lott getting us pressure off the edge. He's going to get a big sack of our own. He gets put in a third and 11 situation, and we get another big sack, which is going to push him out of field goal range and force him to punt, which was huge. Now starting our second drive from our own territory, Eric the Big Dick Dickerson once again making plays on his feet. Going to take it for about 50 yards, and from there, guys, I am not going to risk taking another sack, and I'm going to give it right back to the Dick, and he's going to take it for our first points of the day. 7-0 lead, his ball. He gets all the way down inside my 20-yard line. However, you know we're screaming, and Ronnie Lott going to come up with a huge user lurk towards the end of the first half. Only a minute 30 left in the first half. I'm up by 7 with the ball. He is getting ball in the second half. We see the post D Deep. However, we could not have time to get rid of the ball. We take the sack. We have to punt it back to him. Our defense comes up big. We get him in a fourth down situation. We're sending a lot of pressure here. He's looking for somebody. Rolls out a little bit and is boxed and gets a sack. From there, it is our ball inside field goal range. Should have taken my points. Instead, I'm an idiot and I threw an interception. You know, I'm up seven points. I have a great opportunity to just to get three Go into the lead with two possession, go into the half with a two possession lead, but instead I throw the ball. Instead of running it, throw an interception and give him three points. So instead of being up by 10, now I'm only up by four and it's his ball. So if he scores a touchdown here, uh, he's going to take the lead on me. First and 10, dropping back. He throws a, what the hell are you doing, Brown? He threw a wheel route. I had a quarter out there. A, uh, an outside quarter. For some reason, he it just went right over his head. He didn't animate on the ball. And that's going to give him the lead. That's what I was worried about. But firing right back on offense, we got the stretch RPO with the slant on the backside to Michael Irvin. who's going to take it for 68 yards. I've been talking about it for like three videos, guys. That play is so good. I would recommend finding it in your playbook because a lot of playbooks have a very similar play. His ball now, third and 10. He decides to test my user deep. Ronnie Lott does not animate on the ball. Once again, Randy Moss a little bit too fast. That's like the second time I felt like we've had a ball that our DB should have at least animated into a swap animation or something but it gives him a field goal gonna be 14 13 with about two minutes left in the third quarter 
From there, I barely sneak in the crossing route to Shannon Sharp, who takes it up the sideline. He is not fast enough to outrun everybody, but he does give us the ball all the way to the 13. We did get held, so we did take our three, but because of that play, we were able to get points on the board. Give us a four-point lead now, which means he has to get a touchdown. Third and eight here. He is running, and that definitely should have been an interception. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Uh, and from there, I completely messed up my... The, the motion just really messed up my adjustments. And he had a wide open uh, Torrey Holt over the middle. I've never seen a receiver as open as Torrey Holt there was. That was terrible defense by me. Gave him the touchdown. So now we are down three points. Going to have to make something happen. Squeeze a corner route barely over his user, which is really important. Because he saw his user played the corner. So the next play... He thinks I'm going back to the corner. User dives there, and I got the post over the top. That little misstep by him gave us the acceleration, gave us the little, the little space we needed. You see that misstep to the corner by Ronnie Lott is going to give us what we needed over the top with Randy Moss. He's just a little too fast at that point. You're not going to catch him. From there, I'm up by four with three minutes left in the game. He has a crossing route right there, and Willie Brown. That is the animation I was looking for, those swatting animations right there. It always feels good when you get them. He... he Made a huge play right there. Third and 15 there. Nothing really open. Going to take off with Cunningham and Slide. Going to make it a fourth and long. I think he punted to me there. Yeah, he did punt it to me there. So with two minutes left, I tried to go deep to Randy Moss. He had his guy beat. I just, again, did not have time to throw it. So I had to punt it right back to him. So a minute 30 left in the game. And boom, I don't know what happened there. Randy Moss barely got it in there. He's really getting close with these passes. Uh, third and one, though. He sneaks it right to the outside. And wow, Eric Dickerson is just unbelievable. Gets a huge gain inside my my uh, territory now with about a minute left in the game third and 10 he's running crossing all over the field and boom just when you think he had it the game is over or is it Deion Sanders with the interception I'm an idiot why am I passing there's a minute left in the game what are you doing you're a dumbass what am I doing I'm dropping back and I take a fucking safety with a minute left in the game and I give him the ball back with three timeouts so now now all he needs is a field goal to win the game and guess who's an even bigger idiot? I punted the ball out of bounds. Why am I so stupid? I don't know. But I I, I, I guess I wanted to lose this game or something because I want to give this guy a chance. And right after that, once again, terrible defense. We give him... Uh, I'm actually kind of thankful he scored here because he scored a touchdown. So now we have 46 seconds to go down and score a touchdown on our own. So just like that, the tide of the game has changed. 24-29. I need something. Nothing is open. I throw the ball away. We got 37 seconds left in the game. Going to have to get a touchdown. Thankfully, I have three timeouts there. I run this one, this cover three, one play touchdown. And I got to thank Lord Baby Jesus that that was open because Torrey Holt catches it and takes it for a huge go ahead touchdown with 30 seconds left in the game. Now I got to make sure he does not get in field goal range because a field goal for him wins it. He throws it deep right there. Thankfully, Randy Moss has not come down with it, even though he had streak specialists. We swatted that one away. Willie Brown, once again, making a great play on the outside. Second and 10. He's rolling out 16 seconds left. Throws it to the sideline. Almost get the interception. Willie Brown is going crazy for me. Fourth and nine. This is huge, and we scream off the edge, and that is actually going to do it for the game, guys. After that, the guy quit, and thankfully, we won the game because I would not have forgiven myself for taking that safety with a minute left. So getting into our rewards, we were top 100. We got 21 wins this week with, uh, I believe, two disconnects, but 21 wins on the weekend. We got ranked in the 80s, I believe, which was crazy with 21 wins. Usually that's top 50 at least. Um, but as you can see, we got 800 series, four trophies, and uh, 224,000 coins, plus about 18 packs. I did the math. All the quick sells for the packs would have added to about 350 400,000 coins and I got 289 plus overall players so I'm only going to show you guys the highlights from the pack opening because there was 18 packs there was a lot of packs and I did not take the coins even though I probably should have the first one in a Hail Mary pack I got 84 overall Minka Fitzpatrick then in my midfield pack which goes for 9,000 coins I decided to open the pack got an 87 Rodney Hudson and an 86 Amon Green in the same 9,000 coin pack so that was a really big pack right there Moving on from there, another midfield pack. We got an 84 Willie Brown. Not a great pull, but I just figured I'd throw it in there because I honestly did not get much other than that. Moving on to our red zone packs. Uh, the red zone packs were not very good. Uh, we're looking for 25,000 coin value. We got an 84 Randall Cobb. So we did not come on top out of this pack. We need 25,000 coins because that's what the quick sell goes for. We did not get the 25,000 coins. But anyways, going into the touch touchdown packs, I'm going to show you guys all these packs. Uh, and these are pretty ass too. We're looking for 65,000 coins coins because that's what the quick sell value is so 86 overall clinton portis definitely definitely not 65,000 coins going into the next pack once again looking for 65,000 coins get a most feared animation right there 85 steve nelson your ass then team of the week we're going to get an 84 tony pollard looks like i'm going with the ass boy steve nelson into the third touchdown pack 
Again, a legend shitty pull, 85 Howie Long. Then we get a legend good pull. It's 89 Jim Brown, which is the highest of the day. And then another team of the week, which is going to be an 85 Miles Standards. Once again, none of those packs made my coins back. Because like I said, guys, I'm looking for 65,000 coins. So, so far, none of those have made it back. 85 Landon Collins, not 65,000 coins. Then we get an 83 Nick Bosa, not 65,000 coins. And then finally, an 83 Gale Sayers. These packs were ass. Please take your coins if you can, guys. Next, getting into our 89-plus elite players. The first one, Series Redux. Willie Lanier goes for about 112,000 coins at the time of this opening. And then the next one is going to be, hopefully, something good to make up for the rest of it. And a shitty flashback player, Al Sean Jeffrey. God damn it. I did not make my coins back on any of those packs. And honestly, the whole pack opening was pretty trash in general. Take a look at all the elites I pulled. These are them right there. In total, I made about... I believe 400,000 coins from these plus the 200,000 from the quick sales. So about 600,000 coins plus 800 trophies, which is pretty solid. But compared to the quick sales of what I could have pulled, definitely not happy with that for double rewards. But anyways, if you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.